Now, good evening everyone. Um, well, actually, I should say the good night. <laughs> good evening, everyone. But still, I'm going to say good evening. Welcome to um, you know my study. Um, my name is um, the Father Taming. I am the vicar of um, the parish of Saint George Enfield in Frisia Water. Um, and welcome to all our usual friends, the usual suspects. <laughs> well, welcome to you all. Um, and also, if you are new to um, to this, you know, live streaming, particularly warm welcome. And we do the live streaming um, at um, 10 o'clock in the evening. Sometimes we do a bit of, you know, silly things. Good evening, Val. Welcome. And um, sometimes we do um, a bit more structured, um, you know, the talk or we say, um, you know, the night prayer together. Um, while I'm welcoming you, um, I can see the Maureen also joined us. Carol, Margaret. Good evening, Margaret. Welcome. Welcome. Gosh, a bit. I feel a bit more settled in <laughs> good evening ronnie compared to um you know the last night last night was great fun i, I thought i'll enjoy that but anyway i made a mistake um while i was doing um you know the live streaming last night because um the disarono the white one and, and that was um disarono velvet and i didn't actually read the label properly i just assumed that it was just the same disarono in a slightly different you know the container i thought it might be a some kind of you know um, um christmas specials but it was not the same disarono that i knew it was a creamy ones but when you have creamy ones and when you shake with ice it's not work it doesn't work at all so um I actually um, last night should have you know blended rather than you know the shaking, but yeah, I left a message. So um, if you have any questions, yeah, just let me know. But don't complain. I'm telling you now that was my mistake. So don't shake any creamy ones. But anyway, Tracy and Ron, um, welcome. Um, tonight um, is the first night, the first day. Today is the first day um, in December. Finally, um, you know, the December has come good evening um you know hannah and that what we're going to do is um we're going to offer um the night prayer the first night prayer in december and then um we're going to um you know have some time um in prayer together and then we'll calm ourselves down <laughs> oh by the way i uploaded a um the video that was a very short about five six minutes um the live streaming and then I invited Father Christmas, I invited Father Christmas, and then he came to St. George's Church, and then he explained, um, you know, what we need to do about our Christmas gift collections. Of course, um, I also received another, you know, envelope, um, the wonderful donation from one of you, um, and then that donation was for our Christmas tree, Tree of Light. So I have to say, I do appreciate your support. Thank you very much. And then I'm sure um, you will, oh, I forgot, I forgot to unload um, our, um, you know, parish magazine on the website. So Ronnie, I know you are actually listening. If you can send me the PDF file, the PDF file of our parish magazine, um, I will upload them on our website on the, um, and also on our Facebook page. If you read that, you will find some information about our Tree of Light. So um, if you could follow um, the, that instructions, that would be good. There are loads of things that you can actually do. Um, there are many different ways that you can um, be a part of our Christmas preparations. And I received today from um, from our bishop about the possibility of um, introducing well the reinstate the giving um, the communion wine as well. But what I'm going to do is I will consult with um, our church warden, um, which is you, um, you know the, who, who you whom you elect, and then also I will share that um, idea with um, the members of the PCC. We will review that um, the letter together. And then we will make a decision whether we it might be um, whether it is safe for us to um, you know to give a communion um, to you uh, when everything is lifted up. But at the same time, um, it's a good news um, that from um, the tomorrow we're going to um, open our you know the service again. So um, you will be able to come to the church um, well tomorrow 
at you know 12 o'clock because our Wednesday service begins at 12 so um, that's a good news but um, I think um, we all know that um, we might need to actually prepare ourselves just in case um, you know for the future no one knows what may happen but anyway I will stop um, saying anything um, um, about Christmas um, the stuff um, now and then I'm going to um, say the night prayer with you. Um, the today's reading, um, I'm going to read just a couple of verses from the Psalm 27 and also um, for our scripture readings, I'm going to read a um, you know first letter, uh, first John, and then that is actually the um, um, the night prayer, not night prayer, the reading for the um, evening prayer from my bravery. You know, I already mentioned that um, we use a different um, liturgical books for different services, but uh, I'm going to use this one uh, for the readings and also for um, the singing. I'm going to sing a um, very well-known one because um, some of you mentioned it. Oh, Father Sam, I mean, we'd love to actually hear your um, you know, guitar, so um, I'm happy to do that. And then I'm going to sing today and um, be still for the presence of the Lord with my guitar. So if you know the lyrics, um, you may actually um, follow, um, join me in singing. Um, but if you don't know, just, you know, um, join me, um, join me in, in, in singing. Um, well, let's say you can hum. Yeah. But I think it might be better for us not to actually swap um, the screen um, you know, today. And again, for our prayer, I'm going to use um, the prayer which um, I downloaded um, from, which I downloaded from um, Church of England website. A prayer called um, a special prayer, um, you know, for the nations. Okay. Yeah. And um, if you have any questions about um, actually the service itself or the way actually we run it, um, feel free to leave a comment. So um, if there is anything that we can do. I'm happy to, um, you know, uh, communicate with you um, for the better service. Okay, now let's have a moment of quietness. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought and word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Be still for the presence of the Lord. Still for the glory of the Lord is shining. 
shining all around. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister His grace. No work too hard for Him, in faith receive from me. And for today's psalm, I'm going to read a couple of verses from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamped, though a host encamped against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And then tonight's lesson is from um, the first John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called the God's children. And that is what we are. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. We shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. He ends the lesson. One of the common questions um, that I'm being asked is, um, is there something about after death, well, you know, I, I feel there's nothing wrong for us to raise that question. And I'm sure that question, particular question about our life after um, our death, um, is a big question, isn't it? 
not only for the Christians, but for all human beings. Some out there may think, um, you know, well, there's nothing after our death. Death is the end. That's it. I don't really care. Nothing. Some of um, you know, some people may think like that. And some of us, um, you know, like us, we believe the life after death. I think it's just as simply believing the life after death itself can make a huge difference. Of course, the fact that um, that we trust and we believe in the life after death can be manipulated and can be a kind of you know the bad effect on our lives. But if we go back to the Christian teachings, and then um, if we go back to our faith, the life after death is promised to us, and then according to the promise of Jesus Christ, that life is good thing for us. And then of course, while Jesus was here with us on earth 2,000 years ago, and the people, some people, ask the same questions because they did not fully understand what the life after death might look like and then therefore the wonderful you know the good example some people ask him questions and even try to put Jesus into the corner according to our Lord our law Jesus and if your brother died without child, you have to marry um, to your, um, you know, um, his wife to provide um, a child for your family, you know, the bloodline. And the first, second, third, fourth, blah, blah, blah. And then even the seventh brother, they all married with one lady. They all died without child. And in the future, in the life after death, somewhere, let's say, the place where you say we are going to be, whose wife is going to be? She's going to be. That question shows us, tells us, how ignorant they were. We can't complain. But now... Jesus was, well, from this, you know, uh, scripture reading today, and also we know by what Jesus said, we know now a couple of things about that new life. After death, we are not talking about this same life. We should actually stop bringing using this life as an example of, or the possibility of, the second, um, you know, the life after death. It's completely different things. We are going to be like an angel. All the burdens, all the difficulties that we have, all the things that we had to carry on our shoulder, simply because we are human beings, we are free from them. And then we are going to be like an angel. And angels, their purpose is to be next to the Lord. To praise his name. And then from this, you know, um, scripture reading, we were told that we are going to be like him. Not like God, you know, in that sense. But we are going to be more heavenly because after death, after that final day, we are going to see him face to face. I think that is the image that you and I must have as a life after death. Some people worrying, oh, no, 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 if I go there, you know, if I go there, we may completely forget about you know who we are and then i may forget you know the, my daughter's name my son's name my parents name my wife's name you know it doesn't matter 
because we are going to recreate it as it were not recreate it but we will have the different purpose and we will be in the different relationship the priorities will be different the foundation of our networking as it were will be different so we don't need to worry about that what we need to do just is stop worrying and put our trust in the Lord if you want to have some strength if you are worrying about anything especially tonight well now if there is anything that worries you don't just switch off this live streaming and then just go back to your sleep no before you go there find your Bible open the book of Psalm and read Psalm 27 that's what you heard today read the Psalm 27 and learn what may happen how God was capable or is capable of saving us so I will recommend you to read the Psalm 27 so my brothers and sisters just a short reflection about life after death and I'm sure even death the event of death will not scare us then at the end we are followers of Jesus Christ who overcame the power of death for us into your hands O Lord I command my spirit into your hands O Lord I command my spirit for you have redeemed me Lord God of truth I command my spirit glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit into your hands O Lord I command my spirit keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings come O Lord and visit us in peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart now Lord you let your servant go in peace your word has been fulfilled my own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever Amen come O Lord and visit us in peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart now let us pray loving God your son Jesus Christ came that we might have life and have it abundantly pour out your blessing upon our nation where there is illness bring your healing touch where there is fear strengthen us with the knowledge of your presence where there is uncertainty build us up in faith and where there is dishonesty lead us into truth where there is discord may we know the harmony of your love this we ask in Jesus name Amen stir up your power O God and come among us heal our wounds calm our fears and give us peace through Jesus Christ our Redeemer Amen now we say the Lord's Prayer together our Father who art in heaven 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. Now, um, thank you, dear my friends. Um, thank you for joining me and offering my um, the night prayer. It's a ni always nice to, um, to have all of you here, many of you um, here. And um, is there anything that I need to say? Um, not really. I feel quite, you know, I'm tired enough. So, um, hey, Katie. <laughs> good evening. Um, I think um, I will have a good rest, um, you know, tonight. We need to do a, you know, a couple of things, but apart from that, um, I have no energy left, so I will have a good rest. Um, yeah, I, I still smiling after that the flashing lights and then, <laughs> and all the um, you know the booze night, all the things that we did um, together. But anyway, that was good. Um, it was much needed, um, you know, the fun and relaxation for me. Um, I should say um, the good night um, to you all. And then tomorrow is a Wednesday, so I'm going to see you all at 12 o'clock for our live streaming mass. Don't forget, the church is now open, so you're most welcome to join us at 12 o'clock. Good night. Bye for now. God bless you all. Ho, ho, ho. Good night. <laughs>